How are we doing? Back with this guy. And the pumpkin car. going to paint the scale bits and uh, the pumpkin hasn't actually really had any color put on it it's just had this like wash put on it pumpkin good but hungry oh i've had breakfast i had breakfast um, i've been good i had breakfast and i brushed my teeth and everything i've been good today i need that bright yellow because i want some bright orange Raid. Uh, I'm probably gonna do a grey scales. Maybe a light brown. You can probably go with earthy tones, maybe. I don't know if to, is these quite bright green. Again, I feel like the whenever I look at the screen, it feels like the green isn't coming through uh, as bright. It feels like maybe the colours aren't as bright on the camera. It's probably a bit due to the exposure and the, the lighting issue. Um, He's quite a, quite a bright green. Not like luminous, but quite bright. Early before I set off for work. Ah, fair enough. Well, it's almost lunchtime. It's almost lunchtime. You, I just ate breakfast, so I'm gonna have lunch. Look up, past saturation. Oh, why do they use symbols? Which symbol is freaking contrast? I'm get that's a sun, so that'll be bright. I look like it up saturation. It looks a little bit better. Yeah. I don't know if to go for like an earthy brown, because I know I've shaded with brown, or if to go for like a stone kind of grey. I don't know if I want to complement or contrast. So, new palette. Ah, this very rarely, but new palette. Okay! Someone clip that, please. <laughs> I was lucky. I don't know 
how my cutting mat got so warped. I don't know if that was like a thing from the move. But it, this, this bit is raised up. It's not, it's not flat on the table. That's probably too much. I only need a little bit of red. Get ready to go to town soon, getting a haircut to treat myself. Nice! Always feels nice to have a nice haircut. Food acquired. Oh, nice. What did you get? Feels much better with a haircut once you get hairs uh, off after this. So itchy. Yeah. See, I'm, I, I think it's common knowledge. Like I have said this before. Of like, oh, I'm uh, very much the wolf dog because I like things like being pet. Having my hair washed at a hairdresser after like having a hair shampoo and a cut is just like mm. I'm like so comfy in those chairs while they just lie back and have your hair washed. I'm like, oh yeah, this is good. Well, it's kind of a shame this thing doesn't have a base because it is actually kind of hard to hold it. Without the, uh, the stick.
The haircut experience for guys is different for, guy, uh, for girls. For guys, it's a haircut leave, and girls, it's more of a salon. Oh, oh, 100%, 100%. Spook is always, like, shocked at, A, how long it takes to, for me to get my hair done, and B, how much it costs to get my hair done. Like, if I'm getting my, if I'm getting my hair properly done, as in I'm having uh, a wash, uh, I'm having some, a, like, a colour put in to, like, uh, help with the roots and stuff, I'm having colour, wash, blow dry, cut. That's like my day. It's like a three, four hour process. That's my day. Like, done. Of like, oh, can you come in? Can you come in at like 11 or, or 12? And I'm like, cool. So I can't really do much in the morning. And I also can't really do much in the afternoon because by the time I finish, it's like four o'clock. So, like, I can't do it during the week. Has to be at a weekend. And it's basically a, cool, well, I can't really make plans to go see family or friends. Which is why on a couple of occasions it's literally been, oh, the friends can come round and hang out with Spook. So I'm not going to be there for four hours. Yeah, and it's one of those things where occasionally I get a little anxious because I'm like, oh my god, I have to sit in a chair for four hours. And sometimes I'm a little bit nervous near the start, but basically it's once the uh, once the the colour has been put on and it's like, cool, you, you can just sit there while that, that takes and I've got to go do other stuff. And I'm like, yay, I can like just play games on my phone or my Switch or whatever. And then they're like, time to wash it off. And I'm like, yay, my favourite part. I'm probably going to put a second coat of orange on those uh, after they've dried. And uh, where is it? Pale flesh, silver, tan flesh. Even though it's called tan flesh, I'm going to use this for the wood. Since I say going to Barbara, it's so much cheaper, it takes a bit longer for me than other folks, so I can ask to have pattern shaved in here. Yeah. That's why I pick up a set of clothes to trim it for myself, that's fair as well. Yeah. The spook doesn't go to the barber anymore, he just has me clip his hair. But again, this is one of those things where, generally, because on average, men have shorter hair and women have longer hair. So, you know, spook's haircut consists of, you know, a number three all over kind of thing. Whereas... Long, slightly longer hair needs a bit more styling with like, do you want layers put in it? Are you gonna have the ends choppy or are you gonna have it straight? Where's your parting? Do you want a fringe? Do you not want a fringe? Cause yeah, hair definitely was uh, a lot easier when I had it short, which is why I do sometimes have the dilemma of like, maybe I should just go short again because it's Fucking cheaper. I'm not sure if this is the colour I want for the wood. Ugh. Maybe putting some orange in that would make it look look nice.
See you later, Gas. Speaking of which, I'm uh, making slowly at City Progress of Pokemon. Yay! Thank you. It's a, it was a decent DLC. It was a decent add-on. Every once in a while the music comes on and I have to think, and I'm like, did we actually play Everhood this year? Was that a this year game? Or was that technically last year? Like, I actually don't remember and that's terrifying. It was March, April, maybe? Yeah, right. I just. Oh, yeah, it's the, yeah, that's why we didn't get an auto mod flag. I don't think it was an auto mod, it was just straight up part of the settings. You might be right there. That might not be, in, that might not be an auto, that's a, man, that's a manual mod, actually. I think that, that was manually. Uh, a decision that was made. I'm not changing it.
think this little band is meant to be more of a, a leather. It sits over the back of the horse, so I am going to do that a diff in a different shade from the wood. Just past the point we start hunting the three bad Pokemon. Oh, then you're not far off finishing the first part. Which one are you playing? They're playing the DLC for Scarlet and Violet. Not orange all over my hand already. This is my. I've got orange paint all over my hand. I don't even know how I managed that. There you go, second layer. I haven't played that. I played Scarlet a lot, was close to finishing the base set, but then lost focus and switched to other stuff. Fair enough. Fair enough. close to the DLC coming out because I was like I want to be all done with the base game for when the new stuff comes <sighs> right I still haven't decided what I'm doing with this guy I don't know if to go for brown or grey on his like scales on his back I can't decide Hmm. 
Hmm. Here's a chonka. Hi, Galaxia. How you doing, bud? I can't decide what colour to do these scale bits on the back. The ba base colour is, is green. And I wanted to do these scaly bits like a different colour, but I can't decide if to go brown or grey. Put some of this brown on his claws. Best weapon a jawbone. Yeah, that's what Monster Hunters taught me. I would offer a colour to paint this dude, uh, but with the uh, current choices of not compatible with my silly ass. <laughs> you haven't got the correct colour module installed. <laughs> One day they'll give me the update, but they fear me for being too strong. That's what I always say to everybody all the time. It is my go-to excuse of like, if I lose a game, or if like I roll a one in D and D, I always go, "God has had to cripple me because I would be too strong." My excuse for why I very clearly have some kind of ADHD. God had to cripple me, otherwise I would have been too strong. Oops, sorry, camera. We didn't get paint on that. But I didn't.
Obviously, the Raiders man that's playing McDonald's jingle is annoying enough without being played by a party horn. Oh no. Paper thing where you blow in that and it makes a noise. Oh yeah, I know the one. Just party blower? I think I'd just call him a party blower. Do not like the party thingy, it is a villain. Ugh. Loud noise! See how this looks. I think I might need to find a brush. This is one of the first brushes I got, and now I very rarely use it.
Now them is some chompers. on a phone to know who I call for so long I realise I don't know people's numbers offhand. I mean, I don't either. The only- I've never known my mobile number ever. Not even since I was a kid. Even before- mo even before phones could, like, do it for us. I just couldn't remember the number. The only number I've only- I've ever mem memorised is my parents' landline. I don't know any phone numbers, and I probably never will. Very small amount of orange in those eyes and let that dry and then put some yellow on top so that we maybe have a little bit of depth. I don't know, that's just the theory. A paint theory. I think I'm at least scared a card or something to stick in my wallet for important numbers. How do you order food? You usually give them your phone number. Yeah, and I have to look it up. When I order food, I have to look at my own number. I don't know what it is. I still remember my home landline from when I was little, along with my first mobile number. The phone number from when we moved, and I was like nine, and my parents' current landline was my current mobile. Others know. That's already more than me. I know my cell number and my old lane uh, landline number offhand because I order food and the landline is the code from nearby stores rewards program. Yeah, I know my parents' landline and that is it. And that is probably from growing up as a little kid and being like, we need your parents' number. And, and, but of course, when I was a little kid, uh, mobiles didn't would, weren't really a thing. So if I wanted to talk to my friend, I had to give them my landline number. But, um, uh, I could never remember my friend landline, so I remembered that near near the landline we had like a little, uh, it wasn't a phone book because our landline was one of the on-the-wall ones. So there was like a, a, like a little list just stuck on the wall next to the phone and it had like some of people's numbers on there, like family and stuff and, you know, hospital and things like that. And, and a lot of my friend's numbers and that was literally because I could not remember numbers. So if, there, if there's a problem, you can call Nanny on this number here. And it's like, okay. Because I could not remember it. I think I'm 
gonna go with grey. I've done the, the claws kind of brownish. I'm gonna try grey. Paint shaking ASMR. I'm going to use the other ones, actually. Let's reach for the dollar store paint. Some loopy noises. <laughs> Do not take a sip. Do not drink the paint. Mmm, Del delicious paint soup. Mmm. <laughs> I have water. I have drinking water. Don't worry. No soup. I'm literally using this Sims animation view, sipping a delicious drink to show you what one is. Emo, I am riled. Eee. Sippy! <laughs> soup. A delicious soup. Tumblr post of Minecraft screenshots of that person going, mmm, soup, and then user died in lava. Like, that's me. That's me. High temps these days, 43 degrees. Oh my god, what the hell? Yep, that's 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 too warm. That's that's too warm. I think 43 degrees is the hottest temperature that I have ever experienced, and funnily enough, it was when I was in Greece.
This is a bit too thick. Are you going to visit again? I would like to. I, I really enjoyed going to Greece, but this was probably about... Oh, 15 years ago. Oh, boy. I have said to Spook, I would kind of like to go back to Greece. They were some of my favourite holidays. It's just, you know, the cost of everything. said this uh, I actually said, said this um, it's actually a genuine kind of thing that I have thought that I worry that we're kind of getting past the time in our lives when we can travel and I haven't travelled a lot in my life and now I'm partly worried that I never will Because now we have a house, we have a mortgage that we have to pay for, we're saving for a wedding next year that we have to pay for. After wedding things happen. And... I don't know, I, don't know, I just feel like the moment's kind of leaving us. was probably too real of a conversation. <laughs> Yeah. 
Jesus, is there, is there like a delivery van outside or something? Because every single dog on the street is gone. It was the postwoman. There was a postwoman, a postie. I feel like feels like that at the moment, honestly, but never say never really, there's still plenty of time. This is true. <laughs> Cannot help with the issue with the dread part. I have news flash, Core! I've had existential dread the entire time! It's called anxiety! that in the dark of the night I was tossing and turning and the night met I had was as bad as can be Dread isn't the right word though, it's just a sadness, honestly. But again, as uh, I'm sure uh, a lot of people will agree with, it just kind of feels like it was always an economy thing of like, you know, we're both always trying to work and it just never seems like there's enough. Steer away from that because that's depressing to talk about.
What are you doing for community night? Guys, that's up to them. I am not here. So I am encouraging you guys to organize your own community night and be a community. Speaking of depression, have fun with Shadow Walkers. It's called Shadow Ringers Core. <laughs> Besides, that's not until tomorrow. A friend pushed me into Neverwinter. Neverwinter? The D&D &D MMO? Fascinating. Considering how many boxes that ticks for me, I've never played it. I already have too many MMOs on my plate. Play FF14 Vars. It's, did you know it's free? Up until level 70? Including the award winning expansion Heaven's Ward and the award winning expansion Stormblood? With no limits on playtime? Wow. So ne Neverwinter, the ne Neverwinter is a city in Faerun, which is one of the official D and D settings. So it's it's D and D based. That's its name. different campaigns. Dragonborn is behind a paywall. Well then what's the fucking point? God damn it. How dare you.
Currently playing as a dark elf rogue for now, fair enough. You should play Baldur's Gate and then you can play Dragonborn. Play Baldur's Gate 3. I'm just saying I have still haven't gotten past Act 1, but I have made two Dragonborn characters in Baldur's Gate. I want to leave. So dance to your star! Do you want to go home? There's been a low, low, low. We won't stop until we see the sun. Everybody singing, but I see one singing a different song. One, one, play stop. I really want to go home. There's all these beautiful people making me feel like a fugly little nun. I feel the same way. Really? Yeah, I hate parties. I hate them too. Probably don't know the first one, but the other campaign setting I think I'd like to play is Red Sun. Uh, do you want to play? Is it Spelljammer? Is Spelljammer the space one, or is it um? What's the one that Warforged are originally from? Dragonlance? No, it's not Dragonlance. Dragonlance is another fantasy one, isn't it? I've forgotten the name. Spell you, Spelljammer. Yeah, Spelljammer. Spelljammer is the spacey one. Eberron. That's what we'll forge to from. Eberron. Got there eventually. I want to say Ravnica, that was MTG. Yeah, yeah, it was Ra Ravnica's the uh, MTG setting. Which is owned by wizards, and thus it is also a D&D setting now. They're just settings. They don't have to be system. 
Yeah. But yeah. That's the thing for the people who haven't like played any a lot of D&Ds that I don't think they realise that there are multiple settings that aren't traditional fantasy. People just assume because it's Dungeons and Dragons that it's wizards and dragons and high fantasy. It's like no, there's different there's different ones that are still D and D. way too big. I'm gonna try to put more orange in the eye, but no, that brush is way too big for that. Red Sun was a desert setting with very low magic. Oh, interesting. Dune. <laughs> it's Dune. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Cool. 
Dynamics is more in, in the game than magic is. Magic uses life force to cast and will take away from nearby plants. That sounds like a setting that Spook would like, then. Spook likes psionics, and he always thought that the, the psionics in 5e were a bit pants and wanted to, like, redo them. I didn't think a lot of my healer's name, gaming channel. Oh no. <laughs> <sighs> Those pumpkins, yeah, it's a little pumpkin cart. Those pumpkin cart. Yeah. Both like uh, Redson is a two, two edition, second, two e setting. I don't know why it's a second edition setting and, and advanced D and D. Damn, they should bring it back. That's an old setting. It's like robot spook speaking to like sci-fi. He, he prefers sci-fi over high fantasy, whereas I very much am a high fantasy person. He still likes fantasy, but he prefers sci-fi. So he likes, uh, in, in, in 5e D&D, he likes uh, Gith and Psionics. Psionics being like mind powers as opposed to magic.
<sighs> this is very much a hold your breath between brush strokes kind of thing. Zenless and Zero seen it as some characters robotic arms in a game. Yeah, it's by the people who made Genshin Impact, isn't it? So it's it's another gacha game. Which immediately puts me on guard of like, mm, you want me to spend money. <laughs> I know that the furry community has exploded because it has a hot wolf guy in it. So of course all of the furries are like, oh my god, Zenless and Zero, and I'm like, uh-huh. Have fun, bud. Like, I never played Genshin Impact, even though the gameplay was like Breath of the Wild esque, which I would have enjoyed. But I'm just like, I can't, I can't be getting roped in into gacha games. I can't. If the gameplay is fun, just play with what the game gives you. I mean, if the gameplay is fun, then fair enough. I know that a certain yo has got a sponsorship for it, and that did make me sort of go, hmm, okay, because more because I like to support them, and I don't really have the money to always always have a sub. So I was like, okay, if they if they get a little something from me using this code. Then maybe I'd play it for a little bit.
Don't be in the world. I've been spam watching Orange is the New Black on Netflix. Oh my god. Don't worry about it. It's fine. I did watch the first season of Orange is the New Black. I did like it. Uh, the, and the actress for Alex it was a face claim for one of my D&D characters. I miss you, darling. I'm sad that we're going to be away and busy because that means we can't hang out. should be sat here going, oh, Spook, why do your friends have to get married? Ugh. As if we're not also gonna get married. I oh, used to fluffy but to you. I wanna pet you, dog. Dang got a puppy. I wanna pet the dog. Getting that bit of tension in between the shoulders because I'm doing such fine details. How has the Baba been doing? Is she more settled in now?
Is next weekend an option? Let me have a look at your calendar. Maybe? I think it might be. This weekend we're away. May maybe? So we're getting used to us and treats, just a big bundle of love. Oh, very cute. Oh no, wait, you, wait, you have allergies? No! Why is the universe sent to test us? If you stay along, your immune system will get better within the years. I hope so. Bit of uh, exposure. I literally can't imagine being allergic to cats because cats have been around me all my life, but maybe that has something to do with it.
Ugh. Jesus, it's one o'clock? I blinked. I could have sworn it was 12 when I last looked at the clock. Good lord. Where did, where did that go? Jesus, time is fake. Okay. See how time flies, you can see from the front how focused you are. Yeah, I'm do I was doing some really tight details that I don't even know if they're coming off on the camera. I'm basically try trying to like highlight all of like the individual scales and stuff. Very fiddly. Oops, sorry. Jesus. <laughs> Let's leave that for today. Oh, oh, I've got to stretch out the tension in between my shoulders now. Oh boy. Ugh. And very typically, the sun that was out this morning has now gone in. Seems like a fine day though, at least. Alright. I'm gonna wash these two in the sink and throw this down the sink.
Now I'm an angry core. Oh, why? What happened? Is the coffee machine broke again? in a metagross spawns. Oh, right. You're telling me you don't have a metagross at this point? You know what? I, I think I have, like, three metagross and I'm probably gonna trade one so that I can do the Spiritomb quest. Nice and tidy for another day, and the comfy cloud cushion that we lean on stays there. That's just where it lives. Right. Okay. That is our morning completed. Desk was so shiny I thought I was looking up. Yes, it's a very shiny desk, which is why I use the uh, the cover. Yes, I met have a metagross, but you have an Eevee. So yeah, but Eevee evolves into like seven things. So it's always in Anyway, right, there is paint on my finger, so I'm kind of hesitant to actually lean and touch on anything else. So I'm just gonna uh, end there. Oh wow, this is so warm from where the tablet was, Jesus. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's our morning done. Uh, I'm gonna go for a walk and go for lunch, usual stuff, you know the drill by now. I will see you in a bit. We're gonna be doing more Unity work on the cobble. I'm hoping that after today it will be in a state where I'm going to start taking some photos of it and maybe we'll even take some photos on stream and we can start promoting it on uh, Twitter. Because hopefully it's going to be ready to go soon. Thank you everybody. I love you all very much. Mwah, mwah. I hope to see you all soon. Take care. Bye-bye.